Hey guys, welcome to the farm. Welcome back to the farm, but if you're new, my name is JC and we homestead on a property here in Virginia. I got my tea. You come in, you wanna close that door? And um, we raise goats, have our garden, which you'll see some of the cleanup behind me. And we also run an equine uh, ministry with the youth and the horses here. And I also make goat milk soap from the milk from our goats, as long as some other skincare product. But today, two things I'm gonna show you. I'm really concerned about Star. I think I got her date wrong. So we're gonna check her and I'm just gonna take y'all along to show you um, what I look for, what you typically look for to see when a doe is in um, labor. We're gonna have to drive up, aren't we? I've got all the feed back there. I'm being followed. <laughs> they have been free ranging and working on my compost pile. So I take some of the chicken feed and put it on my uh, pile. It won't be, probably won't be ready this year, but it'll be amazing for fall prep. But anyway, I put it on there and they, they tell up my little area for me. Always work on compost, it's important. Always, always work on compost, all through the year, as much as you can. Look. <laughs> all right, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys today is why we're here, why we, you know, why I even wanted to do a youth program, all of that. Today, my grandma passed away two years ago two years ago yes and um she was monumental in just my life growing up and um she took care of me when my mom had to work because my mom was a hard worker she was taking care of <laughs> pour this out of <laughs> um us kids four kids and um she was amazing um to stay with us take care of us and she had a campground so I'll go more to that let's check star who's got feet all over her head <laughs> what happened you didn't get any huh? <laughs> oh my goodness so a little backstory really quick on these three girls these three girls were donated to, to this farm um, I believe uh, Sarah is an alpine a mini alpine can anybody look at her and tell me what is she? <laughs> so she's due April 5th, but them being all donated together, her and Chloe are very skittish. Now Star was donated, this is three years ago. Star was donated when she was with them at, she was six months old. So she was so much easier to, um, to actually get to be not so skittish. So I can come up and just pet her and everything. But she is bagging up, so but she's not tight. Um, and okay, there's ligaments at first. I didn't feel anything. So you want to come V like this. Sorry, my bad nail job, but that's just life on the farm. Um, and so she is squishy, but there I feel ligaments. You, I knew that was gonna happen. Are you okay? Did you? Are you all right? Did I hurt your bum? Yeah, I saw it right on the edge. I was like, how far? Oh, no. Right. Okay, that was a rotted piece of the, <laughs> the picnic table. We switched sides, but she's fine. So, yeah, that V, you really want to go this way, not here, because I could, I could totally put my, I mean, that just shows her ligaments are really almost gone. She could still go to the fifth but because I do feel some right here, the ridges, but, um, and again, she's, she's bagging up, but she's not tight. And usually they get tight, tighter there. Um, she's, she has dropped a bit and it's harder to see because she is leaned down and eating her chaffe hay, <laughs> but, um, she has dropped some. I'm thinking she's got two in there. I'm hoping two small little ones. She does also have a little bit of discharge. So that's typical, that's normal as well when they're getting close. Again, she could still go to the 5th of April like I have these two and Nellie on the other, in the other paddock. There's Chloe's little ones. Aren't they adorable? So really you're not gonna pay much attention until those ligaments are gone. Once those ligaments are gone, then I'll start really watching her to see when she goes into active labor. Um, she is the one last year. I'll put the, the um, screenshot of that picture for her video that I thought I was going to lose her and the baby. Huge baby. Um, I did not want her bread. But I went to Target and 
eight of my does got bred when I only wanted like four of them bred. So um, I wanted her to develop a little bit more. I wanted her to have a break. Um, so anyway, sh it is what it is. Now you can really see. Right side baby. And look, she's really dropped down. Now I can feel, I mean, she might have, I hope it's not a big buck because that's what happened last year, but we have a appropriate buck now. So we have a um, registered a herd sire. We actually have two, but the one she's bred with, they're, they're smaller, they're appropriate size. They come from a great breed. So um, I'm hoping that'll play a really good part in her. And she's small as well. Um, but I do think there's two small ones in there. I really think that that's, and I'm, I'm thinking two dolings, or maybe I'm just wishful thinking. Oh, Watch. you got, you were holding, you were petting her. Y'all act like you're starved. So that's chaffee hay with some mixed grain, some organic grain from Country Organics. And this one, you're starting to get an udder if you're gonna let me see it. You got me see it? I don't shave my girls. I don't do the utter shave thing, but you see, you can see a little bit of that coming out there. Boop. She's starting to bag up. So I'm, this will, she's a first freshener. So um, let's check, check the bum a little bit. She's letting me get close, but yeah, you can see she's starting to bag up. I know for sure she's gonna be around the, the fifth because I had to re-breed uh, her. And um, guys, can y'all just be polite and eat? And Weston's trying to catch babies. Now, typically moms will, I gotta open my viewfinder because I can't see if I'm in the screen. Um, babies will take after their moms and their temperament. So Chloe's really skittish. So these three are a little bit more skittish than the others that you'll see over there when I take y'all over to visit all the babies and watch their craziness. I have one of my youth volunteers coming today to help. We're probably gonna move these babies over to that paddock with mama oh, because yeah because I really want them to be socialized more and um, it all depends on how Chloe acts she her and another goat over there but heads to the death I mean it's it gets that's why she's here and I thought well they those three have lived together they were donated together um, so they're still fighting but <laughs> they were at least better than than uh, the headbutting that was going on over there Look at this doll. See, she's a little skittish. Now the other ones you'll see on the other side are um, not like this. They're not skittish at all. So they will be disbudded here soon. I got the vet come in, making a schedule for that, for them to be disbudded. She is a doll. She's not bad. I mean, no, normally goats that are really afraid, besides your heart going 50 miles an hour per minute, um, sh they are, uh, you know, trying to get it out and she's not trying to do that so can I, can I you want to hold her okay Weston you socialize the goats oh, there I you go socialize them over there. yeah I know we're gonna take them over there the little girls on the ground and the little boy we have not named them yet Ren, Ren you like that he's very curious hi handsome hi handsome look at you hi hey, Myers Myers you're so cute. <laughs> and there's the other little girl. <laughs> so she needs to get over there with friends and play and get more socialized. Yeah. So that we can just come pick them up. The other ones over there just jump in your lap. So, but again, they take after mom. All the other moms over there are like, yeah, sure, babysit my kid, and my they're fine. Biscuit. biscuit, yeah, I'm looking to see him. Are we keeping this one? I don't know. I said we keep Pixie. No, I can't keep all of them. So the little girl has a darker line than the little boy, and more white. But yeah, she does have, won't be much longer, Mama. And she's really sweet. She doesn't um, headbutt the babies or anything. You're a good mama, aren't you? Yes. And you're friendly. Yes, that helps, but you got food all over your face. 
all over your head, goodness. Okay, I gotta go make food for the horses and the other animals, and then once my volunteer gets here and we feed the horses, we'll go in, The um, we'll get Chloe over, see how this works, and get the babies in there. I know, mama. All right, real quick, my volunteer's pulling in, but I wanna give you all a snapshot, and I think I've shared it before, but this is my grandmother and grandfather's campground sign, and um, I spent my summer there as a kid. I had um, a lot of things going on growing up, and that was my safe haven there, and I learned so much. Loved the outdoors, loved running around, and that's why I wanted to create a place for others to have that same experience. And so I love working with the youth, letting them know that they have purpose, they have hope, um, just encouraging them. So that's why we're here. I mean, really, I love to obviously homestead and be outside and raising animals and all those things, but yeah, so... Just wanted to give a little bit of a tribute to my grandmother and a thank you, which I told her um, the day she passed away, just how much of an impact she made on my life and what she's doing, the impact she's making on others. There you go. There you go. Come on, Chloe. All right, we're gonna let the adults out in this paddock and then Chloe and them can kind of get reacclimated on common ground. I don't have my light on. Um, so let's see how that works. Okay, there's all of the 11. Weston, I'm gonna hand you the broom so you can sweep off the poop. Billy. And this is not guys you can't be on that property yeah let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's right i have ten goats ten adult goats well she's just about to turn a year emma april 4th she'll be a year old and i don't breed my girls until they're about uh, they'll be two by the time they kid farmer mike is home and there's our little farm store a little soap shop soap shed all right let me go get their food and call them in and see how they do Easy. Come on. Be nice, girls. <laughs> Come on. All right. Can y'all open the gate? Without letting babies out? <laughs> they know where to go when it's time to eat. All right. Here we go. Come on. Be nice. Come on. Watch out, Pixie. Your mama's in. Why are you wanting to come out, huh? Your mama's in. Let's see if that stays open for them. Huh? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I don't know what to do with. I don't know what to do with my camera. Come on, here. <laughs> they might have uh, don't knock my camera over come on watch out uh, it might cave in on you don't stop don't gosh how much cash so 
So this is the actual course I built them. You start right here, go up here, you jump off that tire or board over to here, then you can go over here. Or if you can just or you just if you want to stick to that path, then you go on a slide, or you jump to that slide over there, or on this path you come over here and to that green bucket. Yeah. And they're trapped. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next, I will be showing some um, things I'm making in the soap lab. And I was gonna do it reverse, but I'm still editing that. I actually did quite a bit, and I wanna edit it down a little bit so it's not too long, but let me know if you really like the longer videos um, uh, and the information I put out with making um, all natural skincare products and stuff and the soap. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to share that one with you as well. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's greatly appreciated. Um, it really helps out our farm, our homestead, and our nonprofit organization, what we're doing here with the youth. So, guys, thank you so much. Be blessed. Bye. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Never understood But life can I would launch a thousand ships Just to be about your life